running quality control on the IDNOW instrument. This video will demonstrate how to run a quality control sample on the IDNOW instrument. Please refer to the test product insert to determine the correct quality control frequency for your needs. When the instrument is switched on or after another user has logged out, the Enter User ID or Scan screen will be displayed. Enter the user ID or scan it in using an electronic barcode reader. When entry is complete, press the check mark to advance. If a password is required, you will be prompted to enter it. When entry is complete, press the check mark to advance. The instrument will automatically perform a self-test. Once the self-test is complete, the home screen is displayed. Now select Run QC Test. Select the desired assay from the list of available assays. Then select a positive or negative QC test. Confirm the test by selecting OK. If an incorrect QC test has been selected, press Cancel to return to the QC test menu screen. Enter or scan the QC sample ID, then press Check to confirm. You'll see the QC sample ID displayed. Press OK to confirm or press Cancel to return to the QC test menu to re-enter the correct sample ID. The QC test will be run in the same manner as a patient test. When prompted, open the instrument lid. Insert the orange test base into the orange test base holder. Confirm that the correct test is displayed on the screen. Then touch OK to proceed. Once the test base has been placed in the holder, you will have 10 minutes to confirm the test. If the test is not confirmed within 10 minutes, the instrument will time out and the test base must be removed and discarded. When prompted, insert the blue sample receiver into the blue sample receiver holder. Make sure that the sample receiver is completely inserted. Please note that once the sample receiver has been placed in the holder, you will have 10 minutes to start the test. If the test is not started within 10 minutes, the instrument will time out and all test pieces must be discarded. Do not remove the sample receiver from the instrument once the warm-up has begun. Wait for the sample receiver to warm up. The IDNOW Influenza A and B2 and RSV assays include a 3-minute warm-up time after placing the sample receiver in the IDNOW instrument. The IDNOW Strep A2 assay does not require a warm-up period. After the required minimum warm-up, remove the foil seal from the blue sample receiver to expose the elution buffer. It's important to ensure that the sample receiver remains in the instrument, so use two hands in this step. Hold it down with one hand and remove the foil seal with the other. Remove the control swab from the individual foil pouch. Press the swab head against the side of the sample receiver and vigorously mix the swab in the liquid for 10 seconds, then discard the swab. Press OK. When prompted, using both hands, press the white transfer cartridge into the blue sample receiver until a click is heard. Observe that the orange indicator rises to the top of the transfer cartridge. Lift and connect the transfer cartridge to the test base by pressing down. When the transfer cartridge is properly attached to the test base, the orange indicator will descend to its starting position. If the orange indicator does not descend, continue pushing onto the test base until it does. The instrument will recognize when the transfer cartridge has been attached to the test base and will prompt you to close the lid. This screen will be displayed for up to 30 seconds once the transfer cartridge is detected. If the instrument does not detect that the lid has been closed by then, it will time out and all test pieces must be removed and discarded. The test will automatically start once the lid is closed and a countdown timer will begin. Do not open the lid or the test will be canceled and all the test pieces will have to be removed and discarded. Once the test has completed, the instrument will automatically save the data before advancing to the test results screen. Do not open the lid until the test results are displayed. The IDNOW instrument reports QC results as pass or fail. If you are using the optional printer, press Print to get the results. If Auto Print is selected, printing will occur automatically. After the test procedure is complete, the instrument will prompt you to open the lid and discard the used test pieces. 
it's crucial that you dispose of all the test pieces properly to maintain a work environment that's clean and free of contaminants. To begin the disposal of test pieces, remove the transfer cartridge and test base assembly and click it into the sample receiver as shown on the instrument screen. Notice the notches at the bottom of the orange test base. With a gentle rocking motion forward and back, these notches will properly seat into the small elongated openings on both sides of the blue sample receiver. This rocking action will connect all test pieces for proper disposal. Do not try to remove the sample receiver by any other method as there is a risk of spilling the patient sample and contaminating your workspace. Once all the pieces are connected, remove the test unit from the instrument and dispose of it according to federal, state, and local regulations. Do not disassemble test components once they are attached. Avoid any action that may damage the test space reaction tubes after a test is complete. It is advisable to wrap the assembled test unit into your glove, which provides an added barrier to avoid amplicon contamination. Make certain that placing the test components in the hazardous waste container does not separate the test components. You must avoid damage even after disposal. Never step on the unit or forcefully compact the waste container. Now close the lid. The instrument will run a self-test before showing the home screen or enter patient ID screen, depending on the previous selection. Repeat the same steps you just took for any additional QC samples. You are now ready to perform patient testing. For more information on quality control, please refer to the appropriate products package insert or the ID Now instrument user manual. This concludes module two.